Hey y'all, this is Kay. For this project, I'm going to be using one of these wreath frames that looks like a bike wheel that I got at the Dollar Tree. Some florals that I got at the Dollar Tree, they are in a beautiful peach color. Some faux ivy, I'm not sure where I got this y'all, it's been in my stash for a while. Some wired ribbon, two that are two and a half inch and one that is in one and a half inch. The one and a half inch came from a wreath specialty store. The one in the middle came from Hobby Lobby, and the peach color came from Michael's. Some Waverly white chalk paint. Some zip ties and chenille stem. Some pipe insulation that I got at Lowe's recently, and also my hot glue gun. True confession, y'all, I have never used this bike frame from the Dollar Tree because I didn't think it just looked beefy enough to go on my door as a wreath. But I decided with a little pipe insulation, I could make it look more like a bicycle wheel and therefore it would make a cute wreath. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in and paint my spokes in the very center in my white Waverly chalk paint. I made sure that some of the areas were heavier than others and left some areas a little streaky so that it would look worn. What I'm going to do is take my utility knife and then I'm going to start working my way around the wreath form and place down this foam insulation. I'm going to cut slits into the foam insulation everywhere we meet a spoke on the wheel. That way I can slide the insulation more towards the back of the frame and when I connect it, you won't notice it on the front of the wreath. The insulation cost about $3 for a six foot piece. So I did put a little washi tape on one end as I worked my way around because I didn't want to get to the end and see that I had made a lot of mistakes and had to make a bunch more cuts and maybe they would show, right? So I just worked my way around the wreath form doing this same procedure. When I got to the end, I cut it off and then I found out later I need to cut just a little more off so that I could connect it here. Then the next thing you want to do is take off this double-sided tape on each side of the pipe insulation and then we're going to stick the two pieces together towards the back so that it doesn't show on the front. And honestly, this took longer than any part of the project, y'all. The best way I found to connect it at the end there was to take a couple of zip ties and just pull it tight, just enough to make sure it keeps that round circular shape. Now it's time to make a bow for our project. I'm going to use this silky peach colored ribbon first, and I'm going to make about three and a half inch loops, making sure that I don't flatten them. And I'm going to put two loops on each side, and I'm also using six inch tails, and then we'll just cut off the excess there. For the second ribbon, I'm going to make my loops about the same size, but I'm only putting one loop on each side and six inch tails. For the third ribbon, I'm going to use five inch tails and I'm going to make my loops quite a bit smaller and I'm going to put two loops on each side and end up with that five inch tail. To cinch our bow nice and tight, I'm going to use a zip tie, turn it over on the back, I'm going to place a chenille stem inside and then I'll pull it nice and tight and cut off the excess. And then every bow needs a lot of fluffing, you need to dovetail the ends. And remember, once we get it on the wreath, we're going to need to fluff it again. Now it's time to attach it there to the wreath. I used a black chenille stem so I could hide it easily here on the back. And I'm just going to give it several twists, cut off the excess, and then I'll just poke the excess down into that bike wheel. To prepare my florals, I'm just going to push the leaf down towards the bloom and I'm going to cut them at about four to six inches, but you really don't need more than four inches on your blooms. And I ended up using only one bunch, but you know, for your project, you can use as many as you like. I ended up going back and trimming those ends so that they would be a sharp point. And then we just use this wheel, well, this insulation to stick them right down into it, just like floral foam. For this green ivy, I'm just going to kind of twist it down right in the middle of my flowers, and then I'm going to attach it with some floral wire. And once I cut off the ends of my floral wire, I'm just going to poke it down into that foam once again, and also I'm going to use a little hot glue on top. I just want to make sure it doesn't scratch anyone's door. Then I'll just flip it over and work on the top. I'm going to put in my three flowers once again, making sure the ends are sharp so they go right down into this foam. 
And once my flowers are on, it's time to put my greenery. This time I'm going to change it up just a little bit and let it kind of hang off to the side and then run kind of up the top like it's being twisted around the wheel. If it was longer, this would be great. You could wrap it around the wheel and twist it in and out. But once I got that on, I'm going to wire it on once again, place some glue on the back and poke those wires right down into the form. And there you have it, y'all. That's a simple wreath and I love it. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all.